Number two, Miami and Louisville in GMC Bowl. 12 Sports reporter Marshall Harris is with them in Mobile. Earlier this week, they met at the alley. Thursday, Miami and Louisville will meet on the gridiron for the first time ever in the GMAC Bowl. Miami puts the sixth best offense in the nation up against Louisville's fifth rank, though. With that matchup, you'd think the Red Hawks would be bracing for an offensive explosion. I was joking around with our coach earlier this week. Teams, are, whenever games are built to be an offensive shootout, it seems like the score is six to three or you know whatever. But you know everyone's coming to see. It's going to be a good game. You can't overlook either team's defense. Over the last three games, the Red Hawks are averaging more than a 50 spot, and plenty of scouts will be on hand to see Ben Roethlisberger lead what could be his final collegiate offensive. He's improved every game. The people who probably voted him third team haven't seen him play in person. As soon as you see him in person, realize how big he is and how talented he is, um, then immediately uh, your impression of him changes. So uh, uh, he's first team All-American in my book. Miami's going for more than just the exclamation point on what could be a 13-1 season. The Red Hawks are representing the MAC, which is a perfect 2-0 in GMAC Bulls. In Mobile, Marshall Harris. Now sports anchor Harvey Smilovitz with the stories behind the scores. Welcome back. Miami puts the nation's longest winning streak on the line against Louisville tonight. Two schools less than 200 miles apart meet for the first time at the GMAC Bowl. Let's go down to Mobile, Alabama. Red Hawks striking their opening possession. Big Ben Roethlisberger scrambling, finding his roommate Michael Lark in Miami 7-zip. Here comes the Big Ben show again. Hitting Martin Nance, 12-yard touchdown. That makes it 21 to nothing. Hey, gotta love the way Big Ben handles that defense. Shucks the linebacker. Has the presence of mind to see Nance in the end zone. There he is. Red Hawks running up. 21 to nothing. And Roethlisberger's parents just having a ball watching this awesome display. How about Ben once again? His fourth and final TD pass of the night to Larkin. Miami builds a 35-7 lead. That lead cut to 14 points at halftime, and Louisville trims the margin down to seven. But Mike Smith, with this touchdown run, hands Miami its 13th straight victory. Your final score is 49-28. to Marshall Harris has more from Mobile. Marshall? In a game that was built to be an offensive shootout, it was actually a defensive play that put the game on ice in the end. Matt Pusey Terry's interception return for a touchdown helped Miami finish the season with a 13 straight win. You know, we repped it all week. They tried to uh, get the flow going the other way, uh, bring the tight end back, try to uh, catch us off guard. I just read it. He, I don't think he saw me. He threw it up. It's cut in front. Made the pick. So, uh, this was a great win for the school. A great win for the for the university, for the for the conference, and these players. Uh, it's a great way for these seniors to go out. Well, I tell you what, I'm really proud of this football team. That was a gut check, you know. We talked at halftime, they got the momentum. We came out, I'm really proud of our defense, the way they played the second half, big plays. Ben Roethlisberger is the best quarterback, the best player in this country. So Miami finishes the season 13-1 and and with the nation's longest winning streak. Now we know why they call it the GMA Bowl because the match of perfect 3-0 here in Mobile. In Mobile, Marshall Harris, 12 sports.